Uh, Jamie Lee Ross. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to uh, support the third reading of this bill. Much of this bill is around safety. It's around public uh, safety and ensuring that the land transport legislation works better for New Zealanders. And we've seen debated in the House already. Um, the changes that are within this bill are in alco around alcohol interlocks, uh, which will ensure that there's uh, greater penalties there and, and greater use of alcohol interlocks for those that are repeat drink drivers. There's also the uh, uh, sections in here around fleeing drivers, and I think uh, the House needs to give uh, Stuart Smith, MP for Kaikoura, some credit for that idea uh, coming through and ending up in the legislation. I, I want to uh, reply to Penny Henare uh, a little bit, uh, just briefly, Mr Speaker, and talk to uh, the change that went through an SOP on Tuesday night uh, that I put up uh, that was around um, washing of vehicles and uh, typically known as window washers. I didn't speak to the SOP uh, at the committee stage, uh, but I do want to say thanks to the House uh, for allowing that to go through. It went through without dissent uh, on Tuesday night. The reason why I put forward that SOP uh, was to uh, go along with the a theme of this bill, which is around ensuring greater safety for the public with the land transport uh, legislation. Uh, Penny Henare uh, raises some very good points. There is a lot of activity, particularly during summer months with window washers, that are threatening, that are harassing, that are intimidating to members of the public. And uh, police in, in my local area have spoken to me and other local MPs about their concerns that they didn't have sufficient tools to be able to tackle the issue of window washers. The council has attempted to um, deal with them by way of bylaw. However, uh, for a council to deal with them using the bylaw, they had to take prosecutions through the court. That took a lot of time, many months, and it cost the ratepayer a lot of money as well. A solution was suggested, which was to ensure, was just to, to see that land transport legislation um, include in there an offence around window washing. So the SOP inserted into the bill um, a new rule. Rule 11.6a, washing of vehicles, a pedestrian must not wash or offer to wash a vehicle or part of a vehicle on a road unless the vehicle is legally parked. Mr Speaker, this change, once it goes, this bill goes through the third reading, will effectively make window washing an unlawful activity. It will give police a tool that they can use in their toolbox to, to enforce an issue on the roads. And Mr Speaker, I take Penny Henare's uh, view around uh, resourcing and capacity. The issue is, Mr Speaker, police know that there is a lot of activity on intersections with window washers that turns into other crimes where people have been attacked, where people uh, have uh, been subjected to robberies around their businesses, where people, young children, have seen uh, themselves attacked and having their goods or having their bikes stolen or having their bags stolen. And, Mr Speaker, if we can give police a tool so that they can move those window washers on from problem intersections where they can uh, ensure that uh, their prevention first approach to policing can be applied in this case, um, we can actually keep the public safer. And in fact, Mr Speaker, um, a window washer themselves was bowled over a couple of months ago uh, on Great South Road uh, in Tamaki Makoto. Um, in in Auckland, and that window washer ended up in hospital because they were running in and out of traffic and they themselves got injured. So, Mr Speaker, from a public safety perspective, I was pleased to put forward that SOP and pleased to see it now inserted into this bill and look forward to the bill's third reading very soon. Members, this debate is concluded and the question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. I'll ask the clerk to conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 votes.